What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Demos Diecast. Thank you guys for tuning in today. A big ups and shout out and thank you to all the returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you, thank you. And welcome to any first time viewers or new subscribers to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Uh, as you guys can see in the back, we have some Liberty Walk cars. These are all gonna be Mini GT models. So we have the Mini GT Liberty Walk S15 silhouette, uh, the Liberty Walk Toyota Supra, Liberty Walk Lamborghini Huracan, uh, Liberty Walk BMW M4, and the Liberty Walk R35 GTR in the Kuma Graffiti livery. So super, super dope. That's going to lead us into today's video. Um, all of these items were picked up from Mr. James at ModelCarsHouston.com. So please, if you haven't already, go check him out. Uh, some of the cars that I will be opening today may still be available on his website for purchase. So if you're interested in any of them or haven't seen them out, go ahead and check his site. See if they're available. First up, we have the Mini GT Liberty Walk uh, diecast figure set. Um, I've had this actually for a little while. I just haven't had a, a great opportunity to open and display it. So I figured today would be a great day to do so with all of our Liberty Walk cars on display plus what we'll be opening. So this is super dope. We'll get this open and get this set up. Next up is going to be the Nissan Liberty Walk Ken Mary. Um, this is in the Kuma Graffiti livery. So this is going to be the same livery as the Kuma Graffiti R35 back there. Um, I, I say same livery, but I, it's not the same livery, but it's the same Kuma Graffiti. So this is super dope. Uh, res this has been on pre-order for quite a while. I've been waiting for this to show up. So really, really excited that this finally came in and shipped. Um, really, really happy to open this. Next up, we have the white Ken Mary Liberty Walk. So this one, just plain Jane, carbon fiber hood on there. Nothing too crazy, um, but did want something that was just kind of a stock body to go in the case. So really, really excited for this one. And last up is going to be the Liberty Walk uh, Nissan Z. Uh, this is crazy, guys. I think this is the first release of the Nissan Liberty Walk Z. So I'm really excited to grab this one as well and get all these open. So that being said, let's uh, get these open and take a closer look. So first up, let's go with our figures. Take a closer look. So we have a bunch of figures in here. Um really really cool got one guy leaning up homegirls posted he's chilling so let's get these figures out and set them up with our uh, liberty walk cars boom so we got our figure set up everybody's chilling posted up so that's super sick really really happy and let's go ahead and start tearing into these so first up let's take a look at the z so this is a limited one of six thousand uh again that 6000 is only going to be for the Miho exclusives. Um, this car will be released with just the box. Uh, Miho exclusives is going to give you the whole blister pack and everything like that. Um, but outside of the United States, they will release this car in um, just the box. So let's get this open and take a closer look. And boom, there it is. Crazy. Yo, this is sick. This is really, really nice. Uh, right off the bat, I'm getting uh, Devil Z vibes, that old school blue 280 or 240 Z that they call the Devil Z. Um, this thing is sick. Wow, really happy I grabbed this one. Really, really happy. Wow. All right, let's take a closer look. So right off the bat, beautiful, beautiful blue paint um love all that sparkle and flake in there really really nice um nice wantanabe wheel here in the front with the advan tire branding so that's super sick uh you do get that nice black over fender for the liberty walk kit 
rivets uh, details look pretty good, like really, really defined. Um, not painted anything, but that's all right. They're really, really defined on both the front and rear. You get your number 23 there on the door. NGK plugs branding there. This one, mirrors are going to be kind of flimsy. They're semi-rigid, semi-flimsy, so kind of weird. It's a little bit different mirror there. Um, door handle detail looks really good. You do get a Z, is that a Z badge there? Yep. Got some, some more branding there. Um, gas cap detail here. Take a look at the front. Um, nice lensed headlights. Those look really good. Uh, fitment looks really good. I don't see any glue marks or anything. Yeah. So yeah, headlights look really good. Um, not a carbon fiber hood, just kind of like a matte black. Do get a nice Nissan badge here on the front bumper. Uh, on the windshield wipers, good detail. You do get really good detail on that inside dashboard. Get your pods up here. Liberty Walk banner across the windshield. Um, really, really nice. Get that off. Uh, nice front lip. Front bumper looks good. Everything looks looks really nice. Um, I don't see any major defects or flaws or anything like that. So yeah, so so sick. Take a look at this rear. You do get a nice exhaust detail on there. A little bit of depth. Matte black rear bumper. Tail lights look amazing. Those look really really good. Um, fitment, no glue, really, really nice. They did a great job on this casting. Uh, Nissan badge again there. Do you get like a duckbill lip spoiler um, on, here on the deck lid, so that's really nice. Uh, it looks like they went with the black theme all the way, so you got the hood, the roof, and the deck lid also. Um, I believe these are hatchbacks too, so. Uh, but yeah. All in all, this is a great casting. Really, really nice. Super happy to add it. Super happy to have it. So take a look at the base. Um, good exhaust detail underneath. You got your um, exhaust coming out down here, coming out the rear into the rear muffler. No drivetrain detail. At least that's really visible. I guess you do get your differential here. And then you got your um, axles going out to the side. So really, really sick. Uh, rear screw is not going to be visible. It's going to be underneath this muffler. So the front screw is visible. Rear screw is not. And it looks like the wheels are about the same as far as width goes, I believe. Uh, it just looks like they made this a little bit wider to spread it out and give it that, uh, that wide stance. So all in all, super, super dope. Really happy to have that one. So we'll go ahead and set the Z back over here really nice really 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 nice next up is going to be our white liberty walk ken mary so let's get this out of the package take a closer look um this one is going to be limited to one of 9600 uh these are way higher production than they used to be when mini gt first came out i mean they were doing production of like 3000 1500 etc um not too upset really don't care about production numbers but in this packaging in that style um, that's what these would be limited to. So let's get this out. Take a closer look. Boom. There it is. Really, really nice. This is a great model. Um, I do have the black version of this. It's a matte black. Same wheels and everything. Uh, you do get a silver Liberty Walk on that one. But um, I do have the black version. So I'm really happy to have the white, the black. And now also we'll be opening up uh, the Kuma Graffiti here in a minute. But yeah, this thing, really, really nice. Um, I expect the same level of quality as the black, but let's go ahead and take a closer look. Nice white paint. Um, don't notice any flaws or anything on there yet. Do get that black steely slammed out. Uh, over fenders look really good. You can see the rivet detail all on these as well. So super nice. Mirrors on there are going to be fixed. Do get a really nice uh, black door handle with a keyhole there. Interior wise, nothing too crazy. Steering wheel detail looks pretty good. Texture detail, um, nothing crazy on the dashboard. Uh, you do get windshield wipers there. Cowl detail looks good. Matte black hood. Move this around to the front. Uh, nice, really, really nice lensed headlights. 
You do get an oil cooler with your lines running to and from. So that's sick. Nice grill there. Turn signals are going to be painted down underneath. Um, again, these are crooked, but that's how the car is set up in real life. So it's not uh, that's not a defect or a flaw. You do get your Liberty Walk banner across the top of the windshield there. It is in black, so it makes it a little bit hard to see, um, but it is there. So super dope. Take a look at the rear. Really, really nice uh, lens tails. Uh, they are lens. That's not paint. So really, really good job on those. Exhaust detail looks pretty decent. Two little pipes coming out. A little bit of depth there. Nice black duck bill across the back. Do get your Liberty Walk branding there on the rear quarter panel. So all in all, super, super dope. There's not much to this casting, and I'm cool with that. I'm totally okay with it. Uh, just happy to have them now with the black the white and then we'll be looking at the kuma graffiti so super sick you can kind of see up into that fender well as well um, but yeah awesome really really nice um, exhaust or base detail underneath on this one uh, you do get really good drivetrain detail all the way back exhaust detail here coming all the way back so um, really really nice detail both screws are accessible so if you wanted to take this apart and swap it you could Rears are going to be wider than the fronts on this casting as well. A little bit of poke on that wheel just to help it be low and uh, get a smooth roller. So all in all, crazy, super dope. Really happy with that one. And last but not least, Kuma Graffiti. Um, this one is just marked as a limited edition. So no actual numbers listed on this one, but um, no big deal. Um, let's get this out of the package, take a closer look. Boom. This one is going to be the star of the show for me. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, super, super sick. Um, delivery on this one is crazy. Um, super dope. Again, goes with the, uh, the Kuma Graffiti theme that is on the R35 back there. So really, really happy to add this one and add a second uh, Kuma Graffiti to the collection. So really, really dope. Look at all that detail in there on the on the livery. So sick. So, so sick. Um, we'll do a quick run through on this one. Um, so again, that, that paint and uh, that livery really, really pops. Super cool. Um, kind of loud, kind of busy. Might not be for everybody, but I thought it was super dope. Uh, again, rigid mirrors on this one. No reflective on those mirrors either. There wasn't in, any on the white as well. Um, classic black steely uh, over fenders look good on this one I feel like the rivets aren't as uh, defined on this one as they were on the other um, but that's all right no big deal so take a look same interior detail as we saw on the other um, rivets look a little bit more detailed back here uh, same like I said same wheel front and rear no issues with rollers on mini GTs uh, nice lens tails again. Again, duck bill. This time going to be painted body color. Exhaust detail looks the same, um, but you do get all of those little uh, Liberty Walk brandings and whatnot across the rear. So super, super dope. Um, take a look at the front. Again, really nice lens headlights. No glue. Fitment issues. Oil cooler lines running to and from, and again, painted turn signals down here on the bumper. So, um, do get that Liberty Walk banner up there on top of the windshield. Again, cowl detail and uh, nice windshield wiper detail there as well. So, all in all, crazy guys, crazy. Really, really happy to add this one. So, let's go ahead and set the Kuma back there. Uh, but, yeah, all in all, man so dope so really really happy to finally get my figures opened up get them be able to use them we've got all of the liberty walk cars out and about um, just adding more and more models as far as liberty walk goes so i'm super happy with that so yeah guys let me know down below what you thought about the z and the kuma graffiti uh, ken mary as well as the white um, do you have either of them? Are you planning on getting them? Do you have them on order, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So all in all, man, really, really happy. Uh, just continuing to add to the collection. So thank you guys once again for tuning in. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Uh, don't forget to drop a subscription, and we will be pumping them out with some more here in just just a couple of days. So 
Um, thank you guys again. And uh, everybody have a great week out there. And we'll see you soon on the next one. One love.